वेलकम टू बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सेमी कंडक्टर मटीरियल इन दिस वीडियो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मटीरियल इन विच वी हैव सीन इंसुलेटर कंडक्टर एंड सेमी कंडक्टर विथ दर क्लासिफिकेशन एंड एनर्जी बैंड डायग्राम हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू सेमी कंडक्टर मटीरियल with great details so that in future videos when you study semiconductor devices like diode transistor mosfet as well as in power electronics when you will be studying scr diac triac and in vlsi industries even when you will be studying integrated circuits at that time this semiconductor materials understanding will be very helpful to you so let us try to understand basic structure of semiconductor material usually you will be observing we use silicon and germanium material as a semiconductor material now in silicon and germanium you will be observing in atomic structure with atom outer orbit is having four electrons and you will be observing with atoms there is a tendency to complete its outer orbit with eight electrons so how semiconductor will fulfill this criteria it will fulfill this criteria by doing partnership of electron with their neighbor atom let me show you that by physical structure so it will be more clear now you see you can observe this is a silicon atom which we have and it is having four electrons in its outer orbit that will be connected with their neighbor atom as a partnership so you see by red color i am having electron and this is covalent bond right so this atoms that will also share electron with this atom by covalent bond so now if you talk about this atom then you see this atom is having eight electrons in its outer orbit right so that is fulfilling criteria of this atom similarly with all, each of this atom by sharing of electrons there will be fulfillment of outer orbit with eight, eight electrons so you can observe now each of this atom is having eight electrons in its outer orbit right and that is happening because of sharing of electrons with their neighbor atom and that sharing is done with the bonding of covalent bond right you can see covalent bonds over here and now you can see electrons are over here right so this is how semiconductor material structure is there now let us try to understand classification of semiconductor material so basically when we want to classify semiconductor material then there is two categories one is intrinsic semiconductor material and second is extrinsic semiconductor material now let us try to understand first what is intrinsic semiconductor material see intrinsic semiconductor material is a pure semiconductor material in which we don't add any impurities while in case of extrinsic semiconductor material you will be observing we add impurities now when we talk about intrinsic semiconductor material it is pure semiconductor material right so if you observe pure semiconductor material then it does not have free charge carriers at absolute zero temperature absolute zero temperature means at zero kelvin temperature it does not have any free charge carrier if you observe the structure over here then you will be observing with this semiconductor material 
we don't have any free charge carriers right now if you want to generate free charge carriers then by many ways we can generate that one is by increasing temperature we can generate free charge carriers like see if you increase temperature of this material then electrons will break this covalent bond and it will get free let me show you that by one example if you increase temperature then this electron that will come outside and it will get free like this and you will be observing in this covalent bond there is nothing nothing means one can say there is hole right so here there will be hole see by this black color i'm showing you hole so you will be observing as you increase temperature electrons will break this covalent bond and it will get free so there will be charge carriers holes and electrons right and you will be observing in intrinsic semiconductor material we don't have impurities so number of holes and number of electrons will be equal in charge carriers you will be observing this intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor material is having negative temperature coefficient now what is negative temperature coefficient see if you increase temperature then resistivity that will decrease what it means temperature coefficient is negative so in intrinsic semiconductor material you will be observing as if you increase temperature then resistance of that material will decrease right means it is having negative temperature coefficient now let us discuss extrinsic semiconductor material see in extrinsic semiconductor material we are deal with to add impurities in pure semiconductor material and you will be observing impurities are added in terms of parts per million so ppm that is a unit of added impurities it is parts per million what it means we add one atom of impurity with respect to 10 to the power 6 number of atoms of semiconductor material so in terms of ppm we add impurities in extrinsic semiconductor material now you will be observing mainly there are two types of impurities which we add right it will make n type semiconductor material and p type semiconductor material in n type semiconductor material we add pentavalent impurities and in p type semiconductor material we add trivalent impurities pentavalent impurities are like phosphorus arsenic trivalent impurities are like boron gallium indium let me show you these impurities in periodic table so here you can observe this is periodic table in which these are semiconductor material where usually we use silicon and germanium that is having four electrons in its outer orbit now here see this column represents trivalent impurities boron aluminium gallium right and this column that represents pentavalent impurities where we have phosphorus arsenic right so that is how impurities are used now let me show you that by structure so it will be more clear now see in n type material we have pentavalent impurities like phosphorus arsenic right which is having five electrons in its outer orbit you observe so here if i have n type material then here i'll be replacing this by arsenic so here i'm saying this is arsenic so what will happen it is having five electrons so here there will be free electron that one can say right with arsenic while if i say this is p type material then in that we add trivalent impurities Trivalent impurities are boron, aluminium, 
gallium, indium, right? So if you add travel and impurities like aluminium or gallium, let us add gallium here. So it is having three electrons, right? So what will happen? As there is three electrons here, it will be generating holes. So you see there will be holes, right? So here one can clearly say that see with anti-material we have free charge carriers those are electrons and in p-type material we have free charge carriers those are holes. So obviously in n-type minority charge carrier are holes and in p-type minority charge carriers are electron. And one can say, see, in n-type semiconductor material, we are adding pentavalent impurities, there will be free electrons. So these impurities are donor impurities as it is donating extra electron, right? While in trivalent impurities, we are having three electrons in its outer orbit. So there is a need of one electron once one can say that is having a need of electron means there is hole means it is acceptor impurities. So this is all about this session. I hope you have understood this and this will be definitely going to help you to understand semiconductor devices. If you have any further queries, just place that in comment box. I'll be happy to help you.